Since the start of the year, registrations in the big four European markets and the UK have been up and down more times than a roller coaster. October continues that trend, with Spain, Italy, France, Germany and Britain posting declines. As we can see here, these countries have all seen some semblance of recovery since coronavirus lockdowns were initiated in March. France was the first to announce a registrations increase post-lockdown in June, with Spain and the UK joining in July and Germany in September after another up and down performance. Italy too announced its first increase in September after a gradual path to recovery. However, in October all of this has stopped. The best performing market against the same period last year was Italy, posting a 0.2% decline. France was down by 9.5% and Spain, seeing the most dramatic drop, with a 21% decrease in registrations, despite continuing incentive schemes in the country. This points to a lack of consumer spending power, together with businesses delaying fleet renewal at a time when trading potential in the next few months across Europe is a big unknown. In Germany, the country has only achieved one month of positive growth this year, that of September, when registrations from its incentive scheme could finally count towards the country's figures. Alternative drivetrains improved last month, with battery electric vehicle volume up 365.1%. Plug-in hybrids also gained ground, up 257.8%, and there are signs, therefore, that the German public is starting to embrace electric technology. The UK too saw registrations decrease in the month, albeit by 1.6%. But here I want to talk about this month, November. The country has introduced a new national lockdown and, like France, will be shutting car dealerships as non-essential businesses. Germany too is entering a lockdown, but its version is lighter, with showrooms staying open. Spain and Italy are remaining with localised lockdowns, at least at time of recording. This means the recovery tracker will look very different when presented next month. But in this graph, we can see the impact on the UK market. 2020 has already been a very different year as you can see, with previous monthly registrations in 2018 and 2019 closely following each other. This was the same until March 2020, when the first lockdown came into effect mid-month. Things looked to be back on track, but for November we are estimating around 100,000 fewer registrations, with showrooms only open for three working days. Some pent-up demand could be seen in December, but overall the UK, just like France and many other markets that might close showrooms under new coronavirus measures, will not see registrations anywhere near their previous levels for the year. For the UK itself, the yearly total could be down by as much as 32%. It is therefore clear that 2020 will be an annus horribilis for the automotive industry in terms of registrations. The big question is, could it recover in 2021? Or will countries need to take further steps to battle COVID-19, meaning more pain for the market?